just get me in a room with a live client. A live client meaning they have a real problem they need to solve and they have real money and they're gonna pick somebody. And I will close a good percentage of those jobs. Hi Chris, Hi, how's it going? Um, we have a project for you to do some branding. Um, Love it. The uh, budget is £2,000. And we'd like to start working ASAP. Oh my gosh, when you were describing this project to me, I had this delusions of grandeur. I don't even know how to say this part. It's going to make me feel a little awkward. Now here's the thing. I think I know what you want. I'm just not sure I'm the guy to do it for you. And I think you can get what you want done for that money for maybe even less. There's this girl I know in Edinburgh that could probably do it for a lot less. However, I'm just conflicted because I don't know how to do that for that budget. Usually we start somewhere between fifty to twenty thousand dollars per pound. So I can't reconcile this in my mind. Now I don't want to say no to you because I like your vibe, I like your vision, I like your company, but I'm not sure this is gonna work. Is there anything else that I'm missing here, Sarah? Maybe there's more budget somewhere else if you want to work with me, but otherwise I just can't take it on. What do you think? That's a fair point, Chris. Um, but uh, we have to um, put some of that money elsewhere as well. Um, we want to bring okay. certain people on and um, we have some marketing that we want to do. It sounds like you can't do it. You probably don't need me. I'm sure if you call a few people, you can find somebody else to do it for you. It's just not gonna be me, sadly. If you should talk to other people and you don't like what they do, feel free to give me a ring. The price is still the same, but then I can help you. Just out of curiosity, what's motivating this conversation today? What are you trying to get done? Um, we're not getting high enough sales. Um, we're not reaching the um, quite the right target audience. Um, we wanna sort of fit in with a younger millennial vibe. Here's what I heard you say. You're not getting enough sales. You're not um, connecting with the right audience. Those are big problems to solve. Like if you don't fix this problem, what is it gonna cost you? In lost opportunity. Billions? Millions? Yeah, probably millions. So it's gonna cost you millions if you don't fix this problem. Yet you're gonna only want to spend, what I heard was 2,000 pounds to fix the problem. Now, I've been reading this book. It's a good book. But this author's name is Jim Rohn, and he talks about the minors and the majors. That he says that oftentimes in life we get these things mixed up. That we don't want to put a major effort into a minor goal. You don't want to spend millions of dollars to buy a suit. That doesn't make sense. Conversely, you don't want to make a minor effort for a major goal. So if you stand to lose millions of dollars of business and every single day it's going to cost you money, does 2,000 pounds seem an appropriate amount of money to spend? What do you think? I think it sounds disproportionate. It sounds disproportionate to me too. Now, you wouldn't want to spend a million dollars to fix a million dollar problem because then the best you would get is you would break even. But some percentage of that seems reasonable and I'm a business guy, I want to be reasonable too. So if you could buy an insurance policy to stop this from happening, how much percentage would you spend? 30% sounds very generous. Now, I don't think we need to spend that much. Because 30% of a million dollars, my math is really not that good, I think it's 300,000. Here's the great news, I can help you for a lot less than that. We haven't gotten into the whole thing, so I don't know all the parts and pieces that need to be fixed. But I know at least we can get started in the $20,000, 20,000 pound range. That does seem pretty reasonable, doesn't it? Now before we leave, and I think you do need to do your due diligence, I think you owe it to yourself to talk to multiple design firms to figure out who's a good fit for you. If you should decide that we're a good fit, we can get into contracts and we can figure out schedules and all that kind of stuff. So not only are we gonna fix the problem, we're gonna plug the hole in the boat, we're gonna actually grow and expand your business. This is what I help my clients do. Okay, I wish you well, let me know I'll be here. And if you need my help in assessing other firms, I'd be glad to help you. Thank you very much. And it's 
felt like you were on her side and you want to help her, but if she can't kind of stand up to her side of the deal, she's free to go somewhere else. But ultimately you are still there for her and you're on her side, you like her idea, and you'll do it if she can stand up to her side of the bargain. For me, it wasn't so much of an actual like obvious thing. It was it was a feeling of feeling really like cared for almost. I felt on your side. I kind of I was like, yeah, I know. Woo! <laughs> it's, like, it's like a kitty cat being perked. I'm on your side. I'm neutral. I don't care about you, and I match your energy and I flirt with you a little bit. And if I can, if I can make you laugh and teach you something, I'm I'm gonna win. <laughs>